Before the video starts, I'd like to thank you all for 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Well, 1,200 subscribers now. Not only that, but the first episode of the One Defense Iron Man series is my most liked video to date, and I'm still in shock of how much love and support it has gotten. I can't wait to see where this channel goes, and hope you all will stick with me to see what we can accomplish. With that, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Purely Iron. Okay, starting off with a hunter level, and now we can make t or use teak birdhouses. 35 ranged. So we're doing our first, what I would consider kind of like full farm run. Ah, oh, crap. Well, I already forgot the coins. Anyways, basically our first full farm run, because I need to start getting in the habit of this. We're also going to go to Tithe Farm and start knocking out farming because I need potions ASAP. I think we're going to start working towards getting a fire cape and that's going to be our main focus over the next little while while also getting our farming and hunter up as well as a few other things. But I think those are going to be kind of my main two focuses here. Okay, good. This one, boom. It's 34. We got the farming levels just flying in. I love it. Like I said, early game, so much fun because you just, the amount of levels you get and the little dopamine you get feels pretty good. There's 36 already. Just got 22 herb lore from cleaning off my taroman, so that's pretty. <laughs> pretty cool, I guess. Take the free levels. Well, I totally forgot you need 45 farming to get into the farming guild, which means we are now going to do tithe farm until 45 because I need farming contracts ASAP. Woo! All right, this is our first deposit of them 1500 for 37 farming. Yeah, this is going to be mega fast. I just got to figure out how I'm going to deal with the run energy. Okay, I spent a little bit and got all this fruit, so let's deposit it. Six. Oh, you only can do 50 at a time. I was freaking out. I was like, there's no way I just lost all that freaking uh, stuff. 42 farming. And then 43. Only two more levels to go, and then we can access the farming guild, which is insanely good. And let's see how many we have 94 points already. Perfect. Go to the rewards, and we are going to buy auto weed. And I think the next thing we're going to end up getting is probably a seed box. I kind of want everything. I don't really care for the outfit, but like these three things are actually really solid. Also, the herb box is honestly pretty solid if I do a lot of farming here, so I might end up buying some of those. After not too long, we can deposit this. And you gotta be kidding me, a hundred. <laughs> okay, I'm doing a quick farm run and then we're gonna go do farming contracts. Oh wait, I'm stupid. I only put in half of them, Never mind. There we go, we did get 45. Okay, now we can go do farming contracts. Dang it, I forgot to record coming in here, but we got a medium task done and now we're finally in the farming guild. So I don't actually, I've like never done this before, so it's a little bit bizarre to me. Ooh, nice, I can buy seeds here. Um, yeah, I've never done this before. So I don't even know where to go for farming contracts. Can I access this part? Ooh, I can. Nice, now I can go to the big compost bin. We are going places. I think it's going to kick me out of here. Yeah. So it looks like I talked to Jane. And uh, she's the one that gives farming contracts. Yeah, so give me a farming contract. Easy contract. With this, we get 38 thieving, so we can go to Master Farmers now, which is great, because now I can sit in the farming guild. 
I am currently trying to figure out mic settings because my mic's picking up way too much noise, but I kind of like how this one sounds more than it did in the past. So I've got a lot of research to do and stuff like that. So it's probably going to be a hell of a lot of AFKing um, in the farming guild while I figure that out and honestly do some editing because that's what I like to do. Oh, my internet has been not having a good time. So we're gonna see if this actually works. Okay, we got our first seed pack. And then, let's get an easy one. Cadaver berries. All right, let's go grow those. Hopefully I actually have the seeds. All right, let's see what we get out of this one. Oh, wait, whoops. Oh my goodness, these are all... Okay, not all, but the, the herb seeds, I'm ecstatic about. So, yeah, the sooner we can just get a bunch of stuff knocked out, the better. Because this is my main concern right now. Just getting herb lore and farming up, even though I'm not doing a good job about my farm runs. Mainly because I'm irritated about getting back here, but yeah. And I haven't been able to play this much lately. After quite a few hours, we can say we got 60 agility. Now we're going to Camelot and we are going to finish off a little. We are going to finish off Graceful because I need it so badly. Oh. My goodness, look, I didn't even do all the laps and I almost, I, I think I would have gotten like 67, 66 or 67 had I done all the laps instead of like waiting right at the end. All just so that I can get this graceful outfit. So let's go jump down from here, go to birth rope, trade you, get the helmet, the gloves and the boots. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's over. That took so long. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but it's finally over. <laughs> oh, the beauty. Okay. Now we're going to LMS and we're going to go try to make a ridiculous amount of money and then start doing other things. So I will be back with a ton of rune arrows. Okay, after a little while, we have 42 points, and we are going to buy rune arrows, a bunch of them, 14 stacks of them. This will net me uh, quite a bit of money, I think around 800k, and we're going to go get our Arceus favor up and do a bunch of fun, productive things, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, I'll be back when I get 100% Arceus favor. I am going to move my house to Hasidius though, because this is significantly more convenient for me. So yeah, now we finally can get to Karendi's here. So after selling all of our rune arrows, we went from a hundred and something K to almost one mil, which is amazing. And now we're on to our next little grind. So the reason we're gonna be doing Arceus favor as our next little grind is because I need to be able to make the tablets that take me here to Battlefront because that's my best teleport to the farming guild for a very, very long time. So we're going to get 100% favor, make some of these tablets so I can get back here easy and then go do something else. After not too long of a time, we are going to have 100% Arceus favor, so now we can go make those tablets, which we're going to do. Also, this is insane magic XP. We went from 51 to 53, and we still have to claim this XP, but like, I am thoroughly impressed how good this is on an iron when you have like a decent magic level. Anyways, let's go make those tabs. Okay, we have got our blocks and we're going to make some of these. We're probably just going to make a few of these. And then uh, we're going to make a ton of Battlefront ones because we definitely need 
a ton of these. And uh, yeah, so nice. So we have these, then we're going to do some farming contracts and then buy some runes and all of this really fun stuff that I'm excited for because we finally get to make progress on this account. Okay, so I got some volcanic ash on my phone earlier, and now we are about to get 40 ranged, which is just absolutely beautiful. We're going to go buy green dehyde chaps and bam braces soon, so that'll be nice. But I think we're going to go on to doing some construction and hunter, so that should be a pretty swell time. Okay, and if we go to the shop, we can buy the dehyde chaps and this, which are absolutely amazing things to have out of the way. And yeah, now it's going to be on to construction. Oh my goodness, Pog61. Oh my goodness, that took so long. And I'm down to 100k already. I had like 800k, or no, I nearly had a mil the other day and we're already down to 100k. But we now have 50 construction banked, which means that we can make portals and that's kind of big. So yeah. Okay, we are prepping for construction, but we finished an easy clue. So let's see what we get. Uh... The fire lighter? Oh, and the... Pfft. Well, that's completely useless. All right, well... <laughs> that was something. Okay, and I'm going to finish the most difficult quest in the game. Imp Catcher. Let me tell you, this is a extremely difficult quest. You know, you have to go hunt imps, which are super dangerous, and get a bunch of them. But yeah, we're doing this for the Amulet of Accuracy, I guess a quest point too, but like this is definitely the most important part because now I have an amulet for melee things and ranged, so works out pretty well. We are at a historic moment right now. Once we click this, boom, 47 construction and 1,000 total level. I am super happy with that. Anyways, we're going to go to 50, and then I think I'm going to make some money because I am very, very broke. And not too long later, we are finishing up 50 construction, which is insane because we get the portal chamber now, which means we can make teleports to a lot of useful spots, especially on the Arceus spellbook. So that will be highly useful. It's 100k! Oh no. Oh, I really have to make some money. Dang it. I am going to have to go back to LMS for a while. Uh, I guess I'm going to go do that. Okay, I sold off all of my rune arrows I got from LMS and we got 500k. And now we're just going to do a nice little farm run and get a bunch of levels. We just got 48 actually, so that's pretty cool. I didn't record it, but we just got 50 farming. This is crazy. Like, honestly, it's so much fun. I love playing this account right now. Like, this is the progression and everything. Just, it feels so good. Ooh, we just got our first Hespori seed. Obviously, I can't use it for a while, but when I can, we will get that started. Okay, let's get this out of the way. I know it's going to cost a fortune, and it makes me so sad to see that. But these teleports are going to be sweet. I'm actually really excited. So let's just build all these frames as well. And uh, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be good. I think this is worthwhile. And then um, we can have a lot of convenient teleports. So let's do it. So I think I decided on the places we are going to set these to, which is going to be the Arceus library. I do not think I can do it like that. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be the Arceus library. Then we are also going to use um, Drain or Manor for uh, this convenience of getting to Edgeville until we get our glory, which is going to be a while anyway, so that's not necessarily a bad idea. 
and then Battlefront for our farming contracts. This is definitely the best combo I could think of. And we still have a good amount of money, so if I need to buy more runes, I can definitely do so. And honestly, if I need to make more money, I can just keep going back to LMS. It's not really a bother. So finally, after a really long time, we're getting our herb lore up because I want to get access to a lot of good potions pretty early on, so might as well train it. And it might actually motivate me to farm more because I've been putting that off so much, which is not good. So yeah, we're just going to train up a bit and, uh, you know, it should be a pretty good time. Okay, so after a decent amount of time, we have farmed 200 of these fruits. Let's see how much XP and stuff that we get. There we go. I really hope I am not going to hit 200 points. Okay, I'm glad I got 52 farming. But... <laughs> I'm so far off. I'm going to have to do like two more runs of this. Dang it. I really want that, the like huge watering can. So I guess I'm going to continue doing this. Ding it, ding it, ding it, ding it. Okay, I messed up that run of it. But let's see if we get to 200 points. We definitely did not. Frick. Okay, I did a few more. I th think you get bonus points for turning in like 70, which is probably why I haven't gotten it yet, which is very unfortunate. Oh my goodness, I barely got that even. We get to buy the uh, watering can that's like a ton of charges. You get like, it's a ridiculous amount. Oh yeah, you get a, a thousand, which makes this so much better. And it's uh, less weight, so you can maybe maintain it at my agility level. By the way, it's really useful for farming in general, so I'm pretty happy to have it out of the way. Okay, so after a little bit of Slayer... Uh, we have gotten 55 magic, which is very important because now we can use high level alchemy, which means from now on, oh, actually I can out these. Um, we are going to be doing alking with rune arrows from LMS. So we're actually going to do that soon. I feel like a seasoned pro now because I can just do this. Whoops. I can this uh, do whatever I'm doing in this game and elk and you know be training something else while I uh, you know get stuff done, which is definitely a uh, what a name. Um, it's definitely nice. I'm just really happy that we finally have access to alchemy and I can do all that now. So Leagues has been out for a little while now, and I've been doing that, but I've been trying my best to keep up with doing um, farm runs because it's definitely important. I definitely want to get my farming up here, so, you know, might as well. Okay, I know it's been a while, but we have been playing Leagues a little bit, and I've honestly been taking a little bit of a break from RuneScape but I've been doing my farming contracts and stuff like that. So uh, herb lore and farming are well on their way. And we have these. I need to get to 65 as soon as possible. Um, so, oh, look at that, there's 60. Um, I actually think we're gonna get really close. Yeah, we almost hit 61 off doing that. Um, we're gonna be shooting for 65 just so that we can get the next part of the farming guild and be able to do um, uh, like herbs in the uh, the patch there, as well as trees. All of that will be really useful. And then I think after that, we're probably going to move on to herb lore, hunter, and questing, and maybe a little prayer. We'll see, though. Okay, so we have been gathering a bunch of herbs and stuff to, oh, well, you know, to get our herb lore level up, we should have 38 banked, and then we can make a few um, prayer potions. All right, and there is 38 herb lore, which means we can make prayer potions now, which is honestly pretty cool. I'm excited for it, and uh, yeah, so we're just going to train some herb lore for a little while, and then move on actually probably to hunter here soon farming and hunter okay so we're going to deposit these 
Wow, that gave a lot more freaking points than I thought it would. Or XP. All right. So we are getting very close to 65. We're going to do our farm run because I haven't been on for a few days besides farming contracts. So uh, yeah, I will be back once I get 65 farming. This level is very, very, very important for a few reasons, which is mainly because we get access to the medium tier of the farming guild, which means we can start getting way better contracts. So there we go, 65 farming. So I decided that the next thing we're gonna grind is rune crafting. I know it's not the most interesting content, but I do have to do it at some point, and it saves me a fortune of time doing LMS to buy runes instead of just crafting them myself. They are so useful uh, to have and to make them yourself and like all that. It's just, it's going to be worth it, especially for the laws and natures. Um, it's just, it's just worth my while. And with that, are you serious? I'm, I'm 31 XP off. Um, <laughs> oh, once I do this, I'll get it. And there we go. 40 rune crafting. There's 41 rune crafting. I keep missing these freaking levels, but it's okay. Yeah, 41 rune crafting. Oh my goodness, I swear, I'm trying so hard. 42 rune crafting right there. It sounds stupid, but this is the first time we're gonna craft cosmic runes, which is actually insane, because I really do need these, and soon we'll be able to do natures, so that'll be even better. Okay, so I have no idea what's going on with Guardians right now, but it has died twice in a row within the first like two minutes. So I guess we're just going to search this for right now and go do something else. Oh my goodness, Blood Runes. Oh, Law Runes. Oh, oh my. What the fuck? Oh, and we got pearls. What the fuck? That was incredible. So I think I'm just going to knock out a farm run and then go train mining. I might as well get it up. Um, gonna need ores at some point to get my smithing up, and uh, yeah, I think it'll just work out for the better if I do it um, while Guardians of the Rift is just total trash. I don't know why it is, but it is, so we'll eventually revisit and go train runecrafting. Okay, here we go. We get to take our first medium contract. Please be good. Ooh, all right, already starting off with herbs. That's pretty, uh, pretty freaking good. 47 mining. That is 48 mining. 49 mining. I'm actually prepared this time. Check this out. One, come on, one more. Boom. 50 mining. That's huge. Not really, but we're going to pretend that it's huge to get. 51. 52. 53. 54. Okay, 55 mining. We are going to try going back to Guardians of the Rift, and hopefully it's not as bad as the other day, because that was absolutely terrible. So, fingers crossed. Okay, we are claiming our first medium seed pack, and you know what? It's not really a big deal, but you know, it's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. On the first ever edition of me catching a rune crafting level when I actually get it, and I missed it. Are you kidding? Oh, wait, here. No way. Dude, I'm tw- There's just no way. Come on. Okay, right here, right here, right here, right here. There we go. 43 rune crafting. I did that perfectly. Okay, about to get 44. Or not, but you know, we're this- You gotta be kidding me. Okay, we are going to get 44, which is actually an insane level because now we can make uh, nature runes, which is super ideal, so I don't have to spend all my money on them. So really excited for that, and I guess we're just going to continue. For the first time ever, we are going to make nature runes. Oh, that feels so good. Look at that. 32 of them. That actually makes me so happy. Oops, I got 44 crafting. <laughs> Guardians of the Rift putting in the work. There is 45. 
Okay, we are going to do 12 pulls real quick just to see if we get anything. I have a few things to do today, so ooh. Ooh, okay, I'm happy about that. Getting a nice amount of runes. Got some pearls, more death runes. I'll take that. Water talismans, eh. More pearls. Oh my god. The Holy crap, dude, this is actually, what a name. That's, I don't even know. That is absolutely insane that I just pulled that many natures. Oh my goodness, I actually kind of like Guardians of the Rift. Well, I caught the second half of getting level 46 rune crafting, so cool, I guess. Dang it, I'm doing it again. I just got 47. <sighs> I'll, I'll eventually get used to recording my levels. Okay, I am actually prepared this time. Check this out. We're not going to get it here, but once we do this, we should in theory get it. And boom. 48 rune crafting. Okay, prepping for a level here. Once I get outside, boom, 49 rune crafting. There is the big 50 rune crafting. Okay, so we are going to take a break from Guardians of the Rift, but we are going to do these 22 pulls. All right, so that's everything we got out of those 21 pulls. And wow, a crystal key and soul runes. Wow, the crystal key is huge because that guarantees a dragon stone. So, um, honestly, if I get my crafting up a bunch, we have a glory ready for us. Wow. There is 41 ranged. I'm in this weird spot of not really knowing what to do on this account right now. So I'm just going to AFK some combats until I make a game plan. Dang it, I just missed it, but 40 HP. About to get 42. Just got a hit here. These things actually destroy me. 42 ranged. So I'm thinking about training my hunter uh, through salamanders until I get it up higher because I want to be able to catch dragon implings. And obviously you need 83, but that's super slow doing it through implings and then do clue hunting. So I'm thinking I'm going to try to do salamanders, then go into red chins, and then, you know, get 83 and then start hunting those. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, which means we can go get the orange salamanders. So let's go to the desert. 48, 49. Oh my gosh, level 50. Still got a really, really, really long way to go. 51. 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. Okay, we actually had just enough to get to 57 Hunter. Let's get ourselves a little free farming XP. Boom. Okay, we are approaching the last step as far as I know. So let's just type that in. Oh my goodness. The first medium. I'm not going to milk it. Please be Rangers. What the fu- Bruh. What? Oh my god. I guess it's kind of cool to have. <laughs> but are you serious? I don't want this crap. I didn't realize, but that was a fire battle staff, which is actually an upgrade for us. So I'll, I'll take it, you know. <laughs> we got two clue scrolls. I'll be back once I finish both of them. I have to do Mountain Daughter? Fuck. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go do that. You better not randomly give me fucking defense XP. I know you can do this. Okay. Beautiful. Completed the quest. 32 prayer. And, and look at us. <laughs> the true pure helmet. Except for Halo. But still. And talk to you after that quest. Boom! Another medium casket. Let's get back to it. Just to get the level real quick. 66 farming. Okay, okay. So, I got a clue step 
that's for the desert mining camp, which means I have to start the tourist trap. And that actually risks death without protect from melee. So it turns out the max hit is five. So I can survive eight hits. If I somehow am stuck in that animation for that long, I'd be mind blown. Well, there's 58 magic. I wasn't really expecting that, but sure, I'll take it. And she just turned into a cactus. Interesting. Okay, we're going to put it in thieving. Against my better judgment, I'm going to do this. 41. Only need a little bit of XP till 42, and then we can do the feud to get us to 45. But there is tourist trap done. Now let's go finish this medium. Okay, so we are going to start questing, so we are going to be done with implings for a bit. But let's open these caskets and hopefully get lucky. Boom. Mm, not good. And that totally trash. Very disappointing, but you know, what are you going to do? They might be useful for clue steps, though. And the four mediums. Boom. Uh, Alks, that's actually not too bad. I'll take it. Uh, more green dehyde chaps, not terrible, and more Alks. So, you know, not the greatest, but also not the worst. Uh, let's stick this all in here. Two more. Boom. Uh, Alks again. And last one for the Rangers, am I right? Boom. Well, wow. well, that kind of sucks, but it's okay. It was fun doing it, actually. But now we are going to get on to the questing. Okay, check this out. We'll talk to you, and then that's Clock Tower done. Teleport to the monastery. Go over here, talk to this dude right here, and we are done with this as well. And we get to have a little party. And there's Monk's friend complete. Okay, and once we talk to Doric, this is going to be... We're going to start it and we're going to end it. And there we go. Wow, you actually get a good amount of mining XP. Sweet. Okay, walk over here. This dude's going to hit me. Are you serious? I actually have to kill this dude? There we go. Pirate's treasure. That's tribal totem complete. Drink from this, and that's Witch's Potion done. A porcine of interest, or porcine, I don't really freaking know how you're supposed to say it, but it's done. And uh, you actually get some nice rewards from this. I also got 26 Slayer out of that. That's Corsair Curse done. And to finish off this episode, we are going to claim our point. Mm, this is wrong. I definitely have 7,000 on leagues. Oh, wait, it's only 6,000. Well, I guess that's pretty nice. Um, so I'm going to buy the blowpipe ornament kit. Um, that's why I played leagues on this account, specifically for this. And we can claim our uh, really, really sad iron trophy. But hey, it looks kind of cool. But yeah, that's, uh, that's it for this episode. When we're back, we're going to do a lot more questing and start making strong progress towards Song of the Elves and the Inferno.